Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. This is the question. A 77 years old man with symptoms of in, uh, intermittent claudication is due to have his ankle brachial pressure in disease measured. The dorsal spadicitary is impalpable. Which of the following tendon structure lies medial to it that may facilitate its identification? So, from this question, the key point is that the tendinous structure which lies medial to the dorsalis pedis artery. Here, the options options are extensor digitorum longus tendon, peroneus tertius tendon, extensor hallucis longus tendon, extensor digitorum brevis tendon, and flexor digitorum longus tendon. For the answer of the question, first of all, let's see some of the structure which is located anterior to the ankle joint. Here we can see this is the anterior tibial artery, and this anterior tibial artery is continuous as a dorsalis pedis artery. This is the dorsalis pedis artery. So, dorsalis pedis artery it uh, arises from the anterior tibial artery, and here we can see different structure present in the ankle joint. Here, this is the superior extensor retinaculum and here this is the inferior extensor retinaculum and we can see the three tendon which passes behind uh, this extensor retinaculum first of all this is the tibialis anterior then extensor hallucis longus and extensor digitorum longus and here we can see this is the dorsalis pedis artery this side is the medial side and this side is the lateral side and we can see lateral side there is a tendinous structure and this tendinous structure who is attached to the terminal phalanx of the this finger hallux finger so the medial structure relative to the dorsal spadis artery is the tendon of extensor hallucis longus then we can see this is another a picture showing the location of dorsal spadis artery and two tendon on lateral on medial here we can see medially this tendon and this tendon is the extensor hallucis longus and laterally there is another tendon which is the extensor digitorum longus so it is now clear that in the lateral side of the dorsal spadis artery there is a tendon which is the extensor digitorum longus tendon and medial side there is another tendon which is the extensor hallucis longus tendon and in this picture there is another picture and this picture also show this is the dorsal spadis artery and here this is the extensor hallucis longus tendon and here this is the extensor digitorum longus tendon so the dorsal spadis artery it located between the two tendon one is the extensor hallucis longus another one is the extensor digitorum longus and it is medially this is extensor hallucis longus laterally extensor digitorum longus so our final answer is now ready that the extensor hallucis longus tendon it located left medial to the dorsalis pedis artery so for palpation of the dorsalis pedis artery uh, it's uh, very easy first of all we have to find out the extensor pollicis longus tendon and then uh, we give our finger just uh, side of this extensor hallucis longus tendon thank you all